Welcome back. 100 questions about writing in five minutes or less. Let's get to it. It's February. Question five is, do you think about potential film or TV adaptations when you're writing the book? Absolutely not. There's no point whatsoever. It's fun to think about if your th work will ever get adapted, but whilst you're writing it, there's absolutely no point. The reason for this is a lot of books are option. This is true. Sometimes a book will hit the zeitgeist at the right moment. There's something in the air. There's something in the TV land, in Hollywood. Something catches. Or one book is picked up and adapted and it starts to move forward. And what then tends to happen is other studios and other uh, hunters, agents, scouts will start looking around for similar things that could potentially spin out into popular TV shows. An example, when Game of Thrones came out, they then went out and looked into the fantasy space and saw a bunch of other series that were similar or that were very popular or that were very, very big. And they optioned many of them. And what this means is they give some money to the author to retain the adaptation rights for usually 18 months to two years. Let's say it's $10,000 or $20,000, whatever it might be. And what that means is within those two years, the people who have taken this, the property, can do something with it. And if they do, then there'll be some kind of involvement with the author. Not necessarily working on the show, but something will happen. If they do nothing within those two years, the rights revert back to the author, and if someone wants them, they'll have to pay for them again. But you get to keep the money, whether it happens, an adaptation or not. Given what I've just said, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you think about the adaptations? And the reason is 99.9% .9 of things that are optioned are never made. They will simply sometimes buy up a bunch of other properties and material and intellectual property so that someone else can't do it, just in case, just on the off chance, which sounds really silly and really weird, but that's how it works. And also remember, they're actually paying peanuts compared to what the cost of something would be. Let's say it's $20,000. To you or I, that's quite a lot of money. For a TV studio, that's nothing. That doesn't cover the cost of making a fraction of one episode. Even if they gave you $100,000 for the options for two years, there again, that's still not one episode of a TV. So they could buy up 20, 30, 40 options for a very small amount of money for them, but then they've got them for two years. And if nothing happens in those two years, they can buy them up again. And they can basically hold on to these rights for a number of years. And now I know some authors who've had their books optioned multiple times. It kind of rolls over again and again and again, and nothing's happened for six years, eight years. They still get a little bit of money. That's great for them, but it never gets turned into something else. The other reason I don't think about these things is that I'm not writing a book ever with the thought of, I want it to be adapted. I'm not tailoring it to another medium. There's a difference between writing cinematically and with the idea of, if this was a TV show in my brain, how would it work? What would I cut out to make it more interesting as a book? But I don't write it thinking of, right, if I change the story here and change the story there, that gives it a better chance of being optioned because it doesn't work like that. There's too many factors way beyond your control that can ever impact whether it gets made into a TV or film. And equally, I'm not writing it to be adapted. I'm writing it because it's a story that I want to write I don't really care whether it gets adapted further down the line. I want people to enjoy the story as it's presented in a book. And if it is changed for another medium, as the name says, it's an adaptation. It's not the exact version of my work. They will have to change it. It'll be taken over by other people. It'll be their version and their vision of what I've created. And therefore, it's not what I have created purely. So it'll be nice to have. It'll be wonderful to see. It'll be nice to see your work through someone else's lens but I've never written a book ever with that in mind. 